Today we will talk about paintings, but not any kind of paintings. It's about those paintings reflecting a daily aberration of the communist regime, the cult of personality of Ceausescu couple. Nicolae Ceausescu's appetite for seeing and hearing himself praised grew exponentially with the growth of his power, reaching the paroxysm in the 80s, when the ridiculous glorification of Ceausescu and his wife was done on the background of the acute economic and energetic crisis Romania was undergoing. The cult of personality developed on fertile land as communist power structures and uh, promotion practices allow Ceausescu to feel like fish in the water during his fast advancement toward being the Carpathian genius, a lighthouse of the communist regime, a world-renowned politician, or the much-beloved and esteemed leader. Elena Ceausescu equally liked being adored. She became a world-renowned savant despite her unexisting scientific training. The birthdays of the Ceausescu spouses represented occasions for solemn ceremonies and gifts offered to the two geniuses. The range of homages for the Ceausescu couple was extremely diverse. Manifestations organized on stadiums with the participation of tens of thousands of persons messages of gratitude, the printings of numerous poetry and prose works, hymns, odes, songs, dances, paintings or sculptures dedicated to them. He was placed by those who served the cult of personality among the great uh, figures of Romanian history. Those Ceausescu shortly evolved for being just one hero, a hero among heroes, to being the nation's hero or even the most important hero of the nation's heroes. The paintings were among the most frequent and appreciated gifts received by Elena and Nicolae Ceausescu. The Communist Party organizations used different artists to make these paintings, depending on the budgets, the, um, Painter could be a well known or a lesser known one. The order could ask for a painting in which Ceausescu will be presented as defender of peace, friend and mentor of all Romanians, continuator of great forerunners, or the maker of the multilaterally developed socialist society. Of course, there were paintings that highlight the um, high scientific training of fellow academic doctor engineer Elena Ceausescu. In the analysis of these paintings, several principles can be observed. The rejuvenation, often exaggerated, of the main characters is widely practiced. As you can see in this painting, received by Nicolae Ceausescu in 1989, when he was 71 years old. Of course, in the painting, he looks younger. Another principle was that the message um, should be optimistic, positive, to convey, convey joy and enthusiasm. The leaders of the state must be put in flattering positions. They are surrounded by the love of the people. They are in the company of children and young men and women. They show the acquired wisdom and share it with the citizen. They stay in the company of great leaders. They have scientific performances and so on. In any case, the comrades had to look good. The appearance, the message and the company contribute to this goal. It should also be remembered that neither Nicolae nor Elena Ceausescu posed for any painter. The paintings being made based on photographs with the two. The paintings received as a gift by the leaders of Socialist Romania, along with other gifts, were so numerous that 
Ceaușescu's thought of exhibiting them in a museum, but not in any museum, in the largest history museum of the country. Those in 1978, the exhibition called Evidence of Love, High Esteem and Deep Appreciation, enjoyed by comrade Nicolae Ceaușescu and comrade Elena Ceaușescu, of the broad relations of friendship and collaboration between the Romanian people and the people of other countries was inaugurated. As you can imagine, the title of the exhibition was too long and too complicated to be remembered. So the exhibition was known by this short name, the Homage Exhibition. It came to occupy an entire floor of the museum and to count over 10,000 objects, including here the diplomatic gifts received by Ceaușescu during visits abroad or when he received guests from abroad. 